In this training video, you will learn the following about the Bank Reconciliation Suspense Items tab. What the Suspense Items tab is used for, information to enter into each field, and helpful tips about the Bank Reconciliation Suspense Items tab. To reach the Bank Reconciliation module, from the Navigator toolbar, click Basic Transactions, and then in the lower part of the screen, click Reconcile Cash Accounts. The Suspense Items tab will be the last tab on the right. Suspense items are differences in the reconciliation process after check, vouchers, deposits, and other cash items have been entered. They are typically differences between the bank statement and what has been processed through the system. This may include errors, unexpected fees or charges, deposits in transit, or other end-of-period activity that overlaps two periods. In the Suspense Number field, enter a unique number for the suspense item for tracking purposes. We recommend using the two-digit year, month, and day, plus a three-digit number. In the Suspense Date field, enter the date of the suspense item from the bank statement or the system date. In the Amount field, enter the amount of the suspense item based on how it affects the reconciliation. If it appears as a credit in the bank statement and increases the book balance, you would enter it as a negative in the Amount field. Therefore, you would enter in credits to cash as negative.